Hello everyone and welcome to the Event Planning Podcast. My name is Cheryl Lawson. Today I want to talk about using online news releases to drive traffic not only to your event, but also to your social networking site. I just finished coordinating an event in Los Angeles at the world famous Staples Center where we put PR webs, social media press release into play. I volunteer my time for the Arnold C. Yoder Survivors Foundation, free support for children. And they teamed up with Hawks Hoops, a charity that benefits inner city kids in Los Angeles. Among many challenges for this event was that we had less than three weeks to plan and bring celebrities out to participate. You know, it's such a privilege to be asked to an event like this because it gives us... Uh, so I decided to use social media as a way to create the buzz. We started out by producing a social media press release. The organization's founders, Mary Elizabeth Yoder, and former NBA player Joaquin Hawkins shot a video and I wrote a news release challenging celebrities and sports stars to come out to support the kids and of course play in the celebrity basketball game. Can't wait! Oh! Hawk put out the challenge, I'm sure many of you have seen it by now, to uh, Magic Johnson and to a lot of celebrities to come a out. A friendly challenge, let's make sure we get that right. <laughs> Very friendly challenge, you know. Teach me how to duggy, teach me, teach me how to duggy. By tying the newly created Facebook fan page to the news release, we were able to see not only how many impressions and reads we received using PR Web's analytics, but we were actually able to see how many people raised their hands by joining the fan page. For example, it had 30,000 impressions, around 1,000 reads, and because we tied it to the fan page, we added 150 fans to the Facebook page all in 24 hours. By the time we went live with the second news release, we had created enough buzz and readers were now looking for where they could buy tickets and of course, how many celebrities answered the challenge. As a result, we received great response from celebrities and athletes and the kids had a great time. The fan page now has over 600 fans to date and the community we created can continue to be cultivated until the next event. Continuing with the social media strategy, we've now uploaded the videos from the event so people can continue to support the foundation and their work. As an event professional, it's great to see some of the tools that I've been using for a long time, like PR Web, continue to grow with a new social networking tool. I hope you've enjoyed this case study. If you'd like to talk further about how these tools can help with your event or with your business in general, Please feel free to visit my website, theperfect-date.com, and hit the connect button. Or you can follow me on Twitter, at Party of the Sonata. Yeah! Can you make two shots? Thanks, and have a great day.